Hi dear friends, dear friends, myself Mr. Rama, I am HVC coach from India. Dear friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the LGVRF system main components in the outdoor units front of the panel. Dear friends, we will see in the pictures there is a we have main board and external board, main power wirings, terminals and three wires connected with the phase, phase 1, phase 2, phase 3 and also for the line and utils and communication wiring. Dear friends, first of all we have to understand what we have in the outdoor units, what the components we are use. First of all electrical panels for the main boards and external board for the inverter PCB, for the compressors, inverter compressors and uh, condensing fans and uh, different kind of electrical and mechanical equipment uh, especially devices we are used for the main PCB and external PCB also we can see in these pictures about the main power supply connections in the terminal block very uh, show in the pictures so same in the outdoor units then we are go for the installation so we have to remind in this mind so we have to be connect properly in the cabinet box from the main power supply communication wiring and main power supply wiring especially for the multi-v system and uh, lg system for vrp special we are used three passes three pass power supply so in this case especially we have to note down everything what we have to understand for the installation manual then we are go for the installation this thing is the most important for us to know the properly power connection communication cable round and through the front the panel of the front you can see in the pictures directly how it is coming from the power wiring from the communication downside is power supply and upside is the communication wirings master unit to going uh, after the uh, master unit going to slave units communication wiring so properly we have to be connect and push the uh, put the cable uh, ties and uh, yeah, conduits flexible conduits and aluminium conduits properly connected the insulated wiring uh, good connections with the thimbles and uh, uh, jointer the the main power supply to panel no one we can no one wire will be loose everything will be fixed tightness all wires also there is a no joint with the main power supply wires and communications wire we have to be checked properly there is no joints directly we use the uh, jointer for the if there is some wire, wire is less for the communications so we can be joined this one main power supply l2 and l3 you can see all we are vv and vrf units and especially this this pdf especially this uh, installation manual so i can explain you how is it uh, usable for you for the installation process for the wiring and commonly wiring for the indoor units we have to connect the all indoor units each one we can make uh, any one master unit for the outdoor unit also in the indoor units <coughs> regarding the after the refrigerant pipings we have to connect the all master units and slave units for the test of, uh, for the test for the leakages and pressure test and uh, about the our vrf system we have two pipes three pipes available in heat pump and heat recovery system and cool mode so we have to focus only for the pressure test with the main lines all lines in the refrigerant lines we have to close the old walls for the old ports for the outdoor units and slave units after that we have to make the pressures in the in the all refrigerant piping more than 30 bar 30 bar 35 bar we have to put the main pressure for the nitrogen 
especially then we are put the nitrogen that time all the power supply should be off for the outdoor units and indoor units because of that then we are put the nitrogen system in the system so maybe the uh, electronic expansion wall of uh, indoor units may be damaged so the power supply should be off then we are uh, make a pressure test so it is a very important to us then we are go for the pressure test and pressure test easily we can um, uh, hold the 24 hours any project any capacity we we need to wait for 24 hours if there is no leakages after the pressure test so we have to follow the next step for the vacuum and uh, pressure test especially for the required for all system before the pressure test before the leakages check we have to flash the all refrigerant pipings so before the leakage test and pressure test we have to uh, make the flashing with the nitrogen then we are put the nitrogen in the system so all kind of uh, dust and, uh, and darkness and uh, all carbons will throw out from the refrigerant piping so it is a very important for the flashing is the most important after the weldings refrigerant pipings after weldings we have to make the flashing after pressure test after the pressure test we have to follow the next step for the vacuum system so then we are go for the vacuum system we have to be use the correct vacuum pumps and correct hoses and uh, correct micron meters so why the use we are use micron meter because most of uh, technicians they are not use micron meter directly they are put in uh, vacuums uh, according the traditional way but it is a uh, very important then we are go for the uh, vacuums so we need to use the micron meter so especially available this is uh, simply available in the markets and we can also order by the online so we can get on everywhere no problem so micron meter is required for the vacuums and especially the capacity of the our system how many cfm uh, vacuum pump required for the sucking for the air and throw out the air both of the things we have to know then we can use the especially perfect vacuum pump so easy way we can uh, done the vacuums so in the systems we have to then we are go for the vacuums we have to open the valves not from the uh, in, uh, from in the outdoor units but only line for the refrigerant lines so in this case then we are uh, follow the um, vacuums <coughs> sorry so we have to follow the system we have some make uh, some settings for the uh, vacuum so what's the setting for the vacuum in the dip switch number five should be on then we are make the vacuum five number setting is master unit only for the master unit not for in the uh, slave only for the master unit we have to put the five number is uh, upside on so after that the dp switch sw01 d uh, press for the once time so it will be reset for the vacuums so in this case the all expansion valve for the indoor and outdoor units will be stopped they are not working and it will be normally open so no it will be not uh, damaged then we are vacuum the systems and all refrigerant piping will be open so in this case uh, properly we can be vacuum in the proper way so 500 micron is especially required for all system for the vacuums it is a very important for the vacuum so it is not a difficult to do vacuums only just we have to make the setting in dip switch five number is on and sw01d once time reset this is a reset push button settings so you can see in the pictures also same you will find in the system then you are go for the vacuums so it is easy and uh, all expansion walls in this case then you are go for the vacuum first make the settings 
reset the vacuum is start and then you are make a vacuum in these conditions the electrical electricity for the vacuum should be the own no uh, not a stop in once uh, then you are vacuum is continuously run vacuum pump because if sometimes electricity is gone in this case the vacuum pump is stopped so outside air will sucking again by the vacuum in the refrigerant refrigeration lines so it is a waste the time for us so we have to be properly stand on the system right time for the vacuum pump then if sometime is electricity is gone so same time we have to close the valve for the um, our gauges and or uh, the valves valves only for the vacuum pumps you know in the uh, then you are use the any compound and gas meter we have to put um, for one for the section one for the discharge line so same time we have to close if sometime is electricity is gone so we have to close the valves so uh, we have to be very careful in this case and we have to hold the vacuums for 24 hours it is necessary 24 hours if we are hold the uh, vacuums for 24 holes after the 500 microns so uh, we can also check about the leakages if somewhere is a leakages in the system so it will be rise again so we can check the vacuum is uh, properly completed or not if there is a uh, okay so it means uh, the vacuum is okay after the 24 is the uh, same microns so it is uh, good for us so carefully we have to check the vacuums everything is okay and we have to follow the all kind of settings for the outdoor needs and uh, uh, many kind of many kind of settings are in the for the mood set for the heat pump and heat recovery system so what we have to do then we are start the units after the vacuums we have to make a auto gas charge process also we can check the auto gas charge process but lg on most you can charge the manual or refrigerant 4010 and section pressure is 8 bar so especially you can check the system so it is not a difficult and 110 psi 102 20 psi is the equal for the section pressure for r410 so dear friends then we are go for the addressing so addressing is the not a difficult addressing is auto received by the indoor and outdoor need so after the auto settings auto will be automatically detect so after the system start then we are go for the test operation what we have to do the setting in the system so we have different kind of settings in the master unit and slave units in the master unit we don't have to need to do setting in the on off uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 in the slave one we have to own the six number and seven uh, number is on in the uh, outdoor in slaves in second so it is a just a commissioning process last commissioning process especially in the lg vrf system so i think so you can understand all about the process regarding i now explain everything so it is a very useful for you so we will be discuss much more about the all kind of settings about the troubleshooting about the maintenance and uh, many of things uh, all companies uh, we have a different different settings so especially in the next video we will discuss about the setting about the uh, vacuums about the uh, about the auto gay on in the uh, then we are change any parts for the electrical and mechanicals in the systems and error code resolving so everything we have different different setting according to different modes so in this video it is a we are just discuss about the first of things installation Y branch connections you can do easy way weldings for the copper pipes you can do easy way installation of indoor units you can do easy way in outdoor units you can install easy way second important is the after the installation of refrigerant piping you have to connect the wiring for the power supplies wiring for the communications and after the wirings for the main power supply and communications after you have to make a, a 
flashing flashing in uh, in the refrigerant piping after the welding flashing after the flashing you have to check the pressure test after the pressure test you have to check the pressure hold you have to uh, hold the pressure then pressure test is okay after that vacuum you have to make a vacuum and vacuum setting you have to do because uh, vacuum setting is uh, required in the master unit only in the master unit for the vacuums you have to put the five number on upside it will be work in vacuum mode after that addressing should be automatically it will be received automatically detect by the systems no need to take any settings in the systems after that then you are start your system you have to make the uh, settings in the master uh, in the slave ones and slave two master unit equal will be in the master six number is on and seven number is on in the slave two so dear friends in this video you are uh, um, i introduce you about the all process regarding i just told you right now and uh, next video will be on troubleshooting all about the error codes and resolving all kind kind of settings in the lg vrf system all series so dear friends it is a very simple to understand everything and if you have any questions and queries so you can um, ask me so in the descriptions is my whatsapp number so you can contact with me via whatsapp so you can uh, uh, ask me any kind of questions and if you want to join my online trainings personal classes so definitely you can join you are most welcome so dear friends thank you very much for watch this video and i hope you like my video and share with your friends and in this video you will understand in simple way about the vrv and vrf system all system I will explain in my all videos. This video is specially for the LG Multi V Plus, Me Multi V and will Multi Three and Four and Five. No problem. The settings almost is the same. Wiring is almost is the same. So it is a very useful video for you.